Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be looking at GCD or Greatest Common Divisor. And what the Greatest Common Divisor is, if you have, we'll first take a look at a simple example. If you have two numbers, you're looking for the greatest number that can be divided into both of these numbers. And the first thing before we get into how to find this is we need to know what a prime number is. We're going to use prime numbers to figure out what the greatest common divisor is between a set of numbers, two, three, four, five, however many numbers you have to find the GCD for. So the first thing we need to do is know what a prime number is. And a prime number is any number that can only be divided by itself and one. So only two and one can go into two. And the next one is three and one. Three, the only factors that it has are three and one. There's no other number that can divide into three. And the next one is five. Again, there's no other number that can go into 5 except the 1 and 5, 1 times 5. So those are some of the first ones. And I'm going to go ahead and list the most common up here. You have 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. And you usually don't go on more than that. There are more, 13, 17. You do get into more. But what you need to do once you have the prime numbers and most times than not, you can just use those right there, 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11, is you need to list the prime numbers that are multiplied to get these numbers. For example, to get 4, we're going to multiply 1 times 2 times 2. Now to get 8, we're going to multiply 1 times 2 times 2 times 2. There's no other numbers here they are going to fit in to these numbers. So we're going to break these numbers down by using multiplication. And then what we want to do to find the greatest common divisor is we want to compare and find what they have in common. So they both have a 1 and they both have two twos. So 1 and two twos. This one has three twos, but they don't have that in common. So we're going to take the numbers that they do have in common and we're going to multiply them out. So 1 times 2 times 2 is 4. So the GCD, or the greatest common divisor, between 4 and 8 is 4. So we'll go ahead and take a look at another example here. And let's take a look at 18 and 24. Alright, first thing we want to do is break this down using our prime numbers. So what I always do, if it's an even number, I always divide by 2. So you already have our 1, and the first number we can do is 2, which turns this into 9. And to get 9, we have 3 and 3, so 3 times 3. So 1 times 2 times 3 times 3 is 18. And then over here, 24, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to divide by 2, and that gives us 12. So we have 1 times 2. And then I can divide this by 2 again, gives us 6. And then 6, we have 2 and 3. So we have 2 times 3. So 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 24. Again, I'm just looking for numbers that multiply out, the prime numbers that multiply out to give us these numbers. Then the next thing we need to do is what numbers do these two numbers have in common? And we can see they both have a 2 and they both have one three and that's it this has an extra three and this has an extra two twos but we're not going to use that they have one two and one three so we're going to multiply these out two times three and the greatest common divisor is six you just multiply what they have in common so we're going to take a look at one more example And this time we're going to do three numbers. So let's do, let's do 6, 21, and 42. So we need to find the GCD for all three numbers. So again, what we're going to do is find the prime numbers that go into these numbers and then find what numbers that they have in common. Okay? So we're going to first take 6 and we have 1. And we have 2 times 3. Again, if it's even, you divide it by 2. So you put your 2 and you're left with 3. 
And so three, like we talked about, is a prime number, so we just put three down. So that's our first set, one, two, and three. 21, we can't divide by two, so that's not gonna be our first number. First number is gonna be three. So we just go down the list and see what can divide in there. So we put down three, and we're left with seven. Again, we're dividing. And seven, since that's a prime number, that's all we have left. So we're just gonna put down our seven here. And then 42, so 42, we have our one times two. Again, since it's an even number, we can write down our two and divide it. So we're down to 21. And then we already know what the numbers here for 21 are, so we'll go ahead and add these down here, three and seven. And if you look here, what we all have in common, we all have, there's a two here, but there's not a two here. So I'm gonna cancel out these twos. And there's a seven and a seven, but there's not a seven here. So I'm gonna cancel out the sevens. And then what we're left with is just a three and a one. So three times one is three. So the greatest common divisor for these three numbers is three. So this is all you have to do. Know your prime numbers, figure out which prime numbers multiply to each of these numbers, and then figure out what they have in common and take those numbers and multiply them together. Sometimes you may have to multiply six numbers out. Sometimes, like here, you just have to multiply three and one, and it gives you a sample answer like that. So this is GCD. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't visited the website, themathworld.com. Everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.